What is going on guys? Zers here, and I am back with a Patreon requested video on the Skeptic Community, which I think might turn out to be an interesting video. I always meant to chat about the so-called Skeptic Community, just never got around to it, because, you know, internet news comes left and right, and you know, this nigga just doesn't have infinite time to chat about everything. So let's talk about the skeptic community. I think the first question that uh, even the patron asked uh, me is, is there even a skeptic community? Does the anti-globalists, anti-attacking free speech people, I guess maybe it's pro-free speech people, does the skeptic people or the people who refer to themselves as skeptics or an anti-feminist and anti just were, is this even a community of people? I would have to say honestly, Point number one, yeah, of course, is a community of people. Uh, I find it very interesting that some people would claim that there isn't, and I'll get into uh, my thoughts on why they don't claim that in a second. But I think it's very obvious to uh, the layman or just anyone who frequents these channels who talk about the same subject matters or even respond to the same videos, or at least that was certainly a thing back in the past. Actually, it still happens from time to time, I've seen. Uh, I think it's pretty clear and obvious that... Um, we people who are anti-feminists, at the very least, don't like feminism, are anti-social justice, or anti-super left-wing, whiny politics. It's very obvious, at least to me, that there is some sort of community, and if not community, at the very least, some sort of coalition between us. Despite the fact that some people may be right-leaning or left-leaning, they still agree that the foothold that feminism or social justice or, you know, super radical left-wing ideology has in our society is, is a little too much and that we might need to do something about that. I think it's clear, I mean, considering the fact, I mean, the same, I see the same channels or the same people who watch my videos on other people, I mean, the same users on YouTube. People who don't create content, I see them commenting and sharing videos between each other. I mean, between actual content creators, again, these people, they have live streams, they talk to each other, I mean, they, they refer to each other as friends, I mean, internet friends at the very least, but I mean, they, they actually chat. I think it's pretty obvious, I mean, again, to me at least, that there is some sort of community or some sort of communication going on between all of us. I mean, does that constitute a community? Does this constitute a group of people who share the same thoughts and opinions and all have at least some degree, some similar goals? I would say yes, certainly, most definitely. I don't see how you could deny that there is some sort of skeptic community. I would imagine, though, that the very people who do deny the existence of the skeptic community are people who don't want to be associated with the bullshit that comes with being a skeptic trademark um, because there's a lot of expectations that people seem to have of skeptics and this is even spilled over into me I've never claimed to be a skeptic because I'm not um I guess I'm skeptical of some things but I mean when I you know when I use that as some sort of identity or some sort of rallying cry not at all I think it's silly honestly <laughs> to refer to yourself as a skeptic because the thing that's interesting about skeptics is um or the people in the skeptic community is that they are selectively skeptic they're only skeptic of things they don't like. If they do like it, then it's totally fine and they'll defend it to, to their heart's content. They don't ever stop about anything. And I can give you a couple examples. Actually, I can give you, yeah, I can, I can give you a couple examples just off the top of my head. The other day, a friend of mine named Scratchpoint uh, made a video response to Shoe on Head. You know, and he, he eh, I'd say he maybe a few jabs were in there. He poked at it, right? But I think it was all, all in all, a great video response to Shoe on Head, which I thought was interesting because uh, that doesn't really happen very often. Um, however, the interesting thing is all the people who are fans of Sean Head, they watch Scratch Point's video, but, you know, instead of actually arguing with Scratch Point on the point of the video, which was him talking about, uh, sex robots and how it may not be the solution that we're all looking for, or it may not be the best thing in the world to put your faith into sex robots helping out lonely young men. That was pretty much the crux of his video. I think you should go watch it. So he's responding to Sean Head, and the people who come talk to him, again, supposedly he's supposed to be skeptics or, or fans of Sean Head, or they lean towards this area instead of stopping and considering the idea of sex robots maybe not being the best possible thing ever they decided to mock scratch point some people point out in his comment section oh look he's he's angry june actually came and commented on his post and instead of talking to him about the points in question she actually just threw up a joke and just kind of 
left it at that. Um, which kind of, again, this is whole example is to my point that a lot of people who are supposed to call themselves skeptics don't actually stop and think critically about some ideas. They only are critical of ideas they don't like. And for the most part, I can understand that. I mean, that's human nature that you're obviously going to try to reinforce your own biases. I don't expect everyone to have a mindset of trying to challenge themselves on every little thing. However, again, the, the expectations that I was again referring to before my example is that as a skeptic, that's what you're supposed to do. I can keep going, right? So um, even though, like I said, I've never claimed uh, to be a skeptic myself. Uh, the other day, uh, the skeptic feminist, which yes, that sounds very silly, uh, which is actually a group of people on the internet who uh, went on YouTube channel, got into some serious trouble. Um, the main guy, the main spokesperson, Russian Deadpool, uh, in a out of post-traumatic stress you know an episode um he got after taking some drugs i forgot what drugs they were he ended up shooting and killing one of his girlfriends which is a very sad thing indeed um v munro a channel on youtube decided to make a stream with a couple of other people where they just kind of joked about it they didn't really talk much about it they just kind of joked about it and, and i'll i'll kind of clarify what happened in a second but the point that i'm making is um this is this is something i thought was kind of shitty i watched skeptor's video on what happened and i watched skeptor's video before i watched the v munro stream and i watched it before i watched bearings video because skeptor mentioned the bearings video too now despite the fact that i haven't seen i posted up my gut reaction i just posted up man i mean i haven't watched these videos yet but they sound terrible and a couple of people in the comment section of skeptor's video said that they were disappointed in me they didn't like the fact that I had an opinion on the stream and on Bearing's video without having watched it first. Now the funny thing was I was literally on my way to go watch the stream and Bearing's video right after I posted the comment. What I just posted was my gut reaction. However, because of the so-called expectations of being a skeptic these people threw on me, they asked me to stop and evaluate every little thing and to not have an opinion and reserve my judgment from it. And uh that's i mean i did go search all the evidence i just didn't at that very moment when i posted the comment so i mean i i still didn't what these people asked of me to do however the point that i'm making was the expectations of being a skeptic is that you're supposed to stop and be critical of everything that you hear or you're not supposed to believe everything that you hear immediately and i think a lot of people who would deny the existence of the skeptic community i go on to say all of that to come to the people deny it because they don't want to have that spilled they don't want to have that expectation spilled onto them and I can completely understand that. I would also wager the people who would say that there is no skeptic community are the same people who don't want to be associated with the shittiness of the skeptic community. Now, bearing in mind the example I just showed you guys, um, V. Monroe, Sargon of Akkad, uh, Kraut and T, uh, who else was on? Some other people were on the, the stream too, but they were making jokes. Sargon and Kraut and T weren't making jokes. Uh, they were just kind of there, but the other people were. And, uh, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to, to stop and say it's a little tacky or it's a little shitty to make jokes about someone that just killed apparently I would assume someone that he cared about or someone he loved a lot I mean there's a dead body and these guys are just kind of making a tabloid out of it and just joking about it you know and even in my comment on Skeptor's channel I was like look man I don't I don't like the skeptic feminist channel I never liked them I even did video responses to them I did one um but even still I'm like can you at least wait like i don't know a week a couple of days something i mean the day after you start making jokes about it i mean now that's some um, that's i would i would say some pretty shitty things now some people got upset with me saying that um look listen it's dark humor and that's okay you can't stop people from saying that and, and then i had to say look i'm not telling you what you can and can't do i'm just saying it's 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 tacky you know it, i mean at least give it some fucking time at least that's what i'm saying i'm saying give it some time uh so the I, anyway i go on to say all that is because the shittiness that is making fun of someone on the eve of their death or making fun of, of someone who killed someone he loved on the eve of, of this murder or this alleged uh happening is shitty and it doesn't reflect well on people you know who who praise you know v Monroe or people who call themselves skeptics when you have the spoke people or the, the main people in the front of the line saying and doing mean and shitty things and no one really wants to be associated with that, especially if they don't think it reflects them accurately. And again, I can completely understand that. Though I have to say, if you're one of the people who are on the fence about the skeptic community and believe that it does not exist, I have to ask, are you saying that because you don't want to accept the criticisms that come with the label? And if that's so, I, I completely understand. I, I, I'm not going to argue with that you should. Uh, I am of the same mind, honestly. I, I don't 
pick labels because I don't want to accept the responsibility of those people, nor do I believe those people should accept the responsibility for me as well. So if I say or do something stupid, I don't think that that should then spill over or I should be an example to um, paint anyone else with broad strokes. That's another reason why I don't normally label myself. If you're one of those people, then I completely understand. However, I disagree. I, I mean, it's, there's clearly some community going on on YouTube. Again, these people talk to each other. They literally, they pledge you know money on Patreon to each other. They talk to each other. Uh, they send videos to each other. I mean, these people, they're, they're close to some degree. These people have expectations of each other. I mean, that's another thing that, at least to me, really solidifies that there is some kind of idea of a skeptic community going on or some type of anti-feminist or anti-social justice warrior community going on. Now, of course, to clarify, this doesn't mean that everyone who is against social justice and feminism or is against radical left-wing um, political ideology is a part of the community. It doesn't mean that. Uh, however, I still think that there is a community going on. Now, the second part of the question the individual on Patreon asked me is, he's asking me, uh, do I think that there is a line where healthy criticism of people who have similar viewpoints becomes unhealthy? And the simple answer to that question is, yes, I do think that there is indeed a line. Uh, the more complex answer is, uh, it, it really kind of depends I personally would put the line at when personal attacks or when, when the crux of what you're saying is ad hominems or if, if the crux of why you disagree with someone is based purely on emotional outrage or they said something you simply just didn't like and you don't really have anything to say to refute them, then I think the criticism is kind of, I guess, null and void. Because I mean, like, if you're telling me that I simply said something you don't like, there isn't really much I can do about that other than capitulate to you. It means that I can't improve my opinion, I can't change my mind or my opinion, because I don't know if it's wrong. I just know you don't like it. So I think the line really is, unless there is some degree of criticism, if there's only insult, if there's only mockery, if there's only, if only people can say, I just don't like what you said. And, uh, and I'm just boiling it down. I mean, there are really elaborate ways you can say, I didn't like what you said. It's not, it's, it's not always as simple as that. But if it really boils down to there's no real point or no real counter argument to what was said, I think that really is the line. When you go from, here's why I don't like it, X, Y, Z, to you hurt my feelings. And I know it sounds childish, but a lot of the times, like, I'm offended or I didn't like that. I mean, it just really is. You hurt my feelings. I don't mean to mock anyone, but that's what it is. If your feelings are hurt, that's okay. But, I mean, when you just go down to insulting people, when you just go down to attacking people without nary a point or nary a criticism or nary anything that's going to try to change their mind and help them improve, then I, I think you're just kind of wasting everyone's time. I mean, well, this it's like we're back in high school where we're making fun of each other again. I mean, I mean, where did that really get us? I mean, nowhere. I think when it all comes down to it, I don't think it, it's never possible to healthily critique someone without taking jabs at them. Because I, I think it's just kind of a part of internet culture and just banter to, you know, you know, point out at someone, you know, make jokes at someone's expense. I, I think that's okay, especially if they're good jokes and they, and they pay off. However, if that is all you're doing, if that's really the only thing you can do is just say, I don't like this person's behavior, but you're not really trying to correct it or you don't have anything to say to improve it, I think that is indeed where the line gets crossed. And so I will wrap this video up with my overall thoughts of the skeptic community. I think the skeptic community overall has done a great service for people in terms of waking them up and giving them new and different ideas about manhood, masculinity, the different problems that plague our society due to the rise of feminism and, and social justice. I, I think that's a great service. However, I think that there's a lot that can be lost if we only rely on the ponage and the popularity that comes from being a skeptic. I mean, it's not a lot of popularity. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, you're not going to become a rock star. However, if the only channels that really rise to the top are just the people who make fun of social justice and just make fun of feminists, then I mean... I think we can lose a lot of power, or I think they can lose a lot of power. I mean, I, technically, I'm not even a skeptic. I, I think they can lose a, a lot of the, the weight that they have. And, and, I, and I can see a lot of it kind of slipping a little bit when I see some people deciding to either try to go back to mocking people who are religious or go back to, or some people trying to argue against vegans. I can see that there's a little bit of a, a look for new people to respond to and, and chat about and talk about. Because it, it does kind of seem like the foothold feminism has is is waning. However, I'm still kind of worried about the fallout that feminism caused. So, I mean, 
even if feminism is waning and people are, are not getting to be feminists or SJWs anymore, there's still the fallout damage that occurred in, in the war. So, I mean, I don't even think that feminists disappearing would solve anything um, at this point. I, I think a lot of recovery needs to be done. You know, so my overall thoughts are, I think a good service is being provided by them and by people who are even, you know, like me who agree with most of their opinions. But I think it can be lost if the focus gets dropped on to only just, you know, making fun of people on the internet. I think there's a lot more that we can do. And there's a lot more uh, people who are, you know, skeptics are doing. Uh, I don't know if the honey badgers call themselves that. I don't... I don't, maybe they do, but I think they're a pretty good example off the top of my head. I could probably compile a list of people who would refer to themselves as skeptics who I think are fantastic. So I'm not saying it's not happening because it is. But again, I see a lot of people who get the most popularity. You know, they're 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 poning people. And that's funny and cool, but I think that there could be more. So those are my general thoughts on the skeptic community. Does it exist? Absolutely, it, it is. And yes, I think that there is indeed a line between healthy critiques of people's opinions, especially if they're on your side, and um, being unhealthy and just kind of being counterproductive. Uh, because if you only rely on attacking a person's character, you only feel like defending their character, not really their point. And then what do you get from there? You get nowhere. Hopefully, I have made the individual who requested this video happy so with that being said man i certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did man go ahead and click the like button yeah shoot go ahead and click that subscribe button comment in the comment box below and as always you guys have yourselves a great day i will see you cool cats soon adios nah so you stayed after the fade out well all right well, i'll cut right to the chase so i want to get this number to 100 and i want to know what do i need to do or what do i need to offer as a creator to encourage you the viewer to become a patron uh to be completely transparent i have fallen upon tough times and i certainly do need a little more support now i don't want you to you know toss in anything in order to if you guys you feel bad no i want to earn it so i want to know what do i need to do to earn your support and i want to get to this number to 100 so i want to see if i can get those 25 people what do i need to give you guys what do i need to say what videos do i need to produce what do i need to offer in order to encourage you to support the channel please tell me down below or send me an email or you know you know on twitter or anything like that because again i want to earn your support i just don't want you to give it to me all right let me let me you know be what i be an entertainer all right, so thank you very much for stopping to listen. I certainly appreciate everyone who has been a patron, and that includes the individual who requested this video. You all have yourselves a great day. Adios.